The leader of Hamas, the man who planned the massacre of 1,200 Israelis on October 7th, has been killed by Israeli defense forces in southern Gaza. He was an evil man. 45,000 people are dead because of him. Not just the, the people who were killed on October 7th, but the death of the Palestinians in Gaza is ultimately his fault. But amid war rubble in Gaza, Palestinians mourned the terror leader's death and vowed to continue to fight Israel. The martyrdom of Yahya Sinwar surprised the whole world. He has become a symbol for the whole world. IDF footage shows tanks firing on a house where Sinwar was hiding, then troops moving in while a drone flies in along with IDF soldiers and captures video of the terrorist sitting on a sofa amid rubble moments before he died. President Biden said Sinwar's death was a good day for the world and hoped it marked what he called an opportunity. The death of the leader of Hamas represents a moment of justice. I told the Prime Minister of Israel yesterday, Let's also make this moment an opportunity. The administration has long pressed Israel to stop fighting, even as Israel continues a string of military successes against those who are determined to destroy the Jewish nation. If you like that story, do me a favor, tap the like and subscribe button below. And if you really liked it, check out the full show free for a week. Just head over to worldwatch.news forward slash free video.